Continuing this trip inside the most fantastic celebrity motorhomes, we head to Nashville, Tennessee to visit country music superstar Ronnie Dunn and his remarkable rolling ranch. Even though he calls this southern estate home, he spends 265 days a year on this one-of-a-kind, one-and-a-half million dollar motorhome. Hey, Carter, how are you? How are you, my man? Okay. A little road warm, but yeah. good to see you. Looking good. I love the bus. Yeah, she's all spruced out. Come on in. As part of the duo of Brooks and Dunn, Ronnie has won more country music awards than any other act in history. He's had 20 number one singles and sold over 30 million records. Nice. This is a motorhome. <laughs> this is a guy's motorhome. No southern luxury motorhome could be complete without that country feel. That's why Ronnie has decked out his bus with handcrafted woodwork, stainless steel, and animal hides. You've got a lot of manly features going on in here. Well, you know, it, but, but I, I'm just noticing now in the corner of my eye, like, those are not very manly yeah. white flowers. I think what, the girl will beat us in here. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> so. Maybe staged a hair. I think so. <laughs> Does the bus have a name? Yeah. She's white, so we call her Pearl. <laughs> OK. And you keep it here? Yeah. Pearl sleeps at the barn. Nice. That's where I record like a lot of the records and do the songs. We do some really? recording sessions down there and do a right lot of Right here on the there. property. Yeah. So I just kind of like step out of the barn into this little virtual moving world that's nice. the barn too. The reason I, I actually chose a white bus is, is over the years a dark bus like black for sure. Well, uh, if you're, you're outdoor at a festival or something all day long, yeah. it's hard to keep them cool down. Oh, I mean, yeah. there are, I think there are six. Six air conditioners or units what? on top of this thing now. Wow. Tell yeah. me about this bus. I've had it four years. Wow. We started from it was just a shell. We've stripped out the kitchen. Every time my wife Janine comes on here, she'll, yeah. she'll tear something out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But she like brought the sofa in one day. And... It's a huge sofa. Yeah. It's massive. You don't see them in buses a lot. She. I mean, this thing's they're, gigantic. They're built in. Yeah. yeah. But she just found it at some store. It fit. They brought it in and took it to the shop before I even knew about and it. And just totally made it work. Ronnie's customized motorhome has many masculine features, inspired by an unlikely source. So tell me a little bit about like all the nail heads you have here. I saw Sandra Bullock's bus. She had this uh, trim finish, and uh -huh. I'd never seen it before. So I asked her to kind of knock some of that <laughs> off. <a little> <laughs> it just makes it a little cleaner and tighter. Yeah, it's great. And then you have all the leather, very leather heavy. Yeah. Like I say, little, little cowboy goes yeah. a long way, and some of it, <laughs> right. cowhide, things like that. And how many TVs are on here? God, I don't know. Come on. I don't know. I, no, I don't. I'm sure one, there's two, a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. At least eight. You also were able to add in the blinds too. Yeah, and, and then the blinds are, are uh, you know, motorized. You, you, you know, All you, the blinds. Well, are. you know, you walk off stage, you're tired, so you right. just come in, push the button, and go, hey, oh, we're look good. At that. We're good. <laughs> You definitely personalize it yourself. And you know, like the carpet, that obviously not, isn't straight from the from the showroom. No, this was in a house in New Mexico. Uh -huh. I asked the lady what it was, and she said, well, it's it's an antelope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, really? We call it our landing strip. You come off stage sometimes, just a hair disoriented, and you can follow right. the, the landing strip. Follow the landing strip. So you got your design on there. Yeah. It's still true. a little bit from Sandra Bullock, but that's OK. That's it. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have to tell her that. We don't have to no. mention it. Does she know that? I don't think so. She may. I don't know. Well, now she may know that. <laughs> You're still a little bit from her. I love it. Yeah. But let's talk about your kitchen. After years on the road, Ronnie has learned how to make the most out of the limited space available on the bus. When he remodeled this motorhome, he made sure that it's not only stylish, but functional. Kitchen is a remodel, yeah, okay. kind of an update. And put in uh, uh, granite yeah, uh, I love counters. That. All granite countertops and hammered uh, sink basin. And then you have marble floors. Yeah. I'm not seeing something that I usually see in a lot of buses, which is the refrigerator. The new trend saves room if you use sub zero uh, oh, nice. and do, do pull outs. Look at that. That's awesome. Stuff like that. A lot more room. Well, you have a ton more surface area up yeah. top. That's it. It, it, opened, it opened the whole lounge yeah. up. Just to open up a little bit of room in a, in a close, confined bus like this, you know, right. it, it means a lot. Totally useful. Yeah. And there's not a bunch of beers in there either. Somebody cleaned it out. Jeez, what's up with that? Yeah, the girls have been in here. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Come on, yeah. did you know I was coming? Yeah. <laughs> No luxury home on wheels would be complete without plenty of space for the posse to sleep. That's why this motorhome has five extra large bunks. Now, you're a pretty big guy, pretty tall. Yeah. 
I'm a tall guy. I, how do you fit in these things? Years ago, I didn't get that option. So you get in one, and it's like 5'9". Yeah. So you're sleeping with your knees and your ears at some point. But I had had them made where they're 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, oh, really? Yeah. We call these condo bunks. Maybe they have their TV and a DVD, and uh -huh. it's, they're connected to satellite, so you can watch, you know, however many channels. See, this would be a very nice little cozy little guy. Yeah, when you've got like, like a headphone jack here, and yeah. like, it's their own virtual little right. world. They're home for, you know, a few weeks. So you don't sleep up here? No. Yours is back here farther? Yeah. Right there oh, we go. This, I love those doors. Man. The last stop on this dusty trail is the master suite, where Ronnie can kick off his boots and unwind after the show. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, so you got your own this little world great. back here. And you got your guitar sitting back I here. Do. I do. You have a whole little penthouse yeah, back here. Yeah, it's the stuff, man. You got to sometimes just love to be back here. I mean, yeah. you just kind of isolate yourself from everything. No, it's, this is this is the safe zone here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have yeah. all these speakers up here, too. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, the woofer's under the bed. So uh, you can turn it on and, like, go to town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. In the back, there's a shower. Like that, these doors are amazing. I'm telling you, I'm never gonna get over that. Whoa, this is huge. You have tons of space in here. Yeah, and the closet's there, and this is all it's just like the medicine cabinet, oh, man. the shower. So wait, why is this raised like this? This is, is this is the motor okay. aspect of it. So if, if the bed were actually moved back here, you'd have to you'd be, you'd be sitting on the, the motor. But then if you get over the wheelbase, you get that immediate reaction uh, from it. So so you had them move the bed up six feet or eight feet up or whatever it is. Yeah. That's crazy. You spent that much of your life to know that the bed should be moved. We call it bus talk. <laughs> okay. Well, look, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for showing me around your bus. It's a fantastic space. Next time you go to spring break with this thing with the family, I'll come in. Chasing yeah. those girls, man. I'll be your guy. I'll be your guy. <laughs> <Either one. laughs>